Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you two methods to pass props from your child component up to your parent component in React. Make sure you stick around to see the second method because it will change the way that you think about components and use components in React from now on. So the first method is something that you've probably seen before, and it's not actually passing props up to the parent component. It's instead passing a function down to the child component so you can set a property in the parent component. So in this case, we have a child component and we have a parent component. And the parent has a count and the child just renders a P that says child. So if we wanna be able to set the count in the child component, we can pass set count down to the child, like so. And then we can render some buttons. And this can take an onClick handler and the onClick handler will return a function so we'll call set count and we'll pass in one. And we'll make the display label one for this button. And we can copy this a few times. Change this to two, change this one to three. And you can see here, we now get some buttons. And because we're printing count, we should expect the count up here to change as we press these buttons. And we do. So the second method is a little bit more realistic and it is actually passing props down from a child to the parent. So you can see here we have a parent component and we have a display content component and the display content component will take our filters and it will make a network request based on those filters and it will display the data. And then we have our filters in a separate component. So we have a look at this component here. We have a search input. We have a greater than and a less than input. And we have these properties here. So we want to be able to return our values up to our parent component from our filters. So to understand what's going on here, you'll need to remember that React components are just functions and functions can return whatever you want. So let's change filter from a capital F to use filters and we'll change the return from just JSX to an object. So we'll wrap this in some curly brackets here and we'll call the property of the JSX our render. And then we're also going to return some more properties from our use filters. So I'm going to return search, I'm going to return greater than, and I'm going to return less than. So now we need to change our usage of this use filters function. So come back down to the parent and we'll create a new constant and we'll destructure everything out of use filters. So I'm going to get our render. I'm going to get search. I'm going to find greater than, and I'm going to find less than. I'm going to wrap render in curly brackets. And now we can pass all these properties down to our display content. And an easy way to pass multiple properties down to a component is to create some curly brackets spread an object and pass those properties into the object. Now we can use these properties on our display content. So let's print them out to the DOM and make sure that this is working how we expect it to. So if we change the value of our search and less than and greater than, we should expect them to change in this display content component. So let's change search and we can see it's changing in our display content component. We'll change greater than to 20 and we'll change less than to 50. And so this is a great way to abstract things like filters out into separate components, but still allow you to pass their properties down into your parent component. If you like this video, please make sure you like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.